So, you want to learn how to hunt? Is that what I'm hearing? I know how to shoot a gun. It's a rifle, not a gun. I was in the 10th Mountain Cope. Don't give me any Marine Corps bullshit. Killing a buck's a little different than killing a man. Or a freak. The best way to hunt an animal is to track it. You gotta focus. And see what nature's trying to tell you. If you look hard enough, you'll see the signs. Okay then, look hard. See this pile of deer scat? It's fresh. Yeah, I see it. They lead this way. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. Well, come on, man. Quick, there's your buck. I see him. Now here, use my rifle. If you were in the 10th mountain, you know how to use a scope. Yeah, Cope, I know how to use a scope. Easy, easy. I got this. Got him! Nice shot. Oh, God damn it! it wasn't a kill shot. He got away. No, no, that's okay. You wounded him. He'll bleed out soon enough. We just gotta track him. Okay. See the blood spots? Look close. Yeah, I see him. Then follow him. On it. He'll be slowing down about now. Losing too much blood. We should be coming across his carcass any time now. Okay, you know how to gut an animal? Yeah, look. Cope, Boozer and I have been hunting before. He used to go elk hunting with his old man and... Yeah, he, uh, he showed me how to gut it, dear. Well, let's just say, no disrespect to Boozer, but... you got a lot to learn. You're wasting a lot of meat there. Overall, not bad. For a beginner. Yeah, thanks. Now, I'll take back that rifle. Here, thanks. Like I said, Deke, we can always use more venison at the camp. Still got some folks trying to heal up from that Ripper attack. Okay, Cope. Yeah, I'll see if I can remember that. Okay, let's take a look around. All right, where? Gotcha. Tucker, I spotted him, and it looks like he was uh, like he was waiting for someone. Oh, 
Come on, Rose! Where do you think you're going? I want huh? him alive. Go back here, you son of a bitch! What? Shit All right, let's do this scene. the hard way. Tell us where he's stuck. Rose, slow down. I just want to talk. Yeah? You want to talk to you? To talk? Yeah, goddammit! If I wanted to kill you, you'd be dead. Oh, huh. Up your ass! I know what you done to Leon and Alvarez. Let's get away, Deacon. How's it going, buddy? See? Told you I wasn't gonna kill you. Uh, uh, Deke, no. No, oh, I, I didn't do nothing. Uh, uh. Eh, that's not what Tucker says. I guess when Leon and Alvarez took off with the camp's drugs, they forgot to cut you in. Is that about it? Uh, uh, Deke, no. Uh, uh. No, no, no. Clue me in on what you're thinking, man. I, I want to understand. You you took what was left while the old woman wasn't looking? Oh, Deke. Uh, I got nothing on me, okay? Search me. Uh. <laughs> no, I'm not. It's not my job. I'm going to leave that up to Alki. Hey, Tuck. I got Deke. him. Uh, Locked down these coordinates. Don't leave me here. Have Alki I heard what you did to Leon, okay, Deke? He's alive. Uh, please, man. Did he have Come my on, drugs? Please. Deke, no. oh, yeah, please, please, we rode together, to remember? That way. You Al and me, we were friends! Up and get off his ass. St. John out. Please, please! I can find a... Oh, damn you! God what damn you! The kid I brought in, just trying to find a way to cheer her up. She mentioned having one. Shit, I don't know. Check the gift shop at Belknap Crater. I don't think you're in force. Look for fuel. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Good.
useful. It's okay. Opening the gate. How's life in the shit? What's going on, huh? Sure. Mm-hmm. See you again. How's it going? What do you Hey, what's going on? What are you looking for? Come by if you still need something. I'll let Tucker know you stopped by. Lisa, I... Go away. Uh, brush or something. That's beautiful. Will you take me with you? Take me back to Marion Forks. Look, I, I can't, because it's not safe. I gotta turn in. They make us get up really early for work. Deacon St. John, come in. Deke, you out there? Hey, Cope. Yeah, let me guess. You got a job for me. Okay. Uh, I'll swing by when I get a chance. Deacon out. Deacon St. John, this is Ada Tucker. Alki wanted me to tell you that the camp is thankful for all the runs you've been doing. We need all the help we can get. Hey, uh... You're not answering the radio. Yep. I know, I was... Well, hold on, hold on. No, I'm all right, I'm all right. Just... I'm trying to get clear, you know? You're burning up. Ugh, my head's pounding like a mother. You're burning up. No, 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 I'm just, I'm just tired. Okay, stay here, rest. I'll think of something. Look, I don't need a goddamn babysitter, I'm fine. Here, come here, I'll show you what you're looking for. Uh, yep, found it. <laughs> All right, come on, focus. I am focused. All right, so this one is called Lavandula angustifolia. Lavender? Yes, well, I'm still paying off my student loans, so I will stick with Latin, mm -hmm. but you could call it that. Yeah, get your money's worth, go for it. <laughs> okay, come on, give me your hand. <sighs> All right, so you want to put one hand around the flower. All right. And then put the other hand at the stem. Okay. Just like that, and then you pull nice and slow. You know, I pulled weeds before. Uh, excuse me, sir, this is not a weed. You have to be gentle. But apply pressure. Oh, yeah, but not too hard. <laughs> okay, ready? Mm-hmm. Go. 
There you go, that's perfect. <laughs> and it doesn't smell very good. Okay, you hold on to those and I'm gonna collect more. <laughs> So, uh, why lavender? Well, the guys at the lab are pretty excited. They, they think they have this subspecies, which might have mutated monoterpenoids, which produce a modified linalool that... That is so... Oh, my... Thank you, Einstein. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry. It has a chemical that we can use to synthesize a new medicine for burn patients. Where I'm from, the only weed used for medicine is the kind that you smoke. You know, Boozer knows a guy with a farm. It's about three miles up the road. Oh, that's great. Boozer's gonna wind up in prison and take you with him. <laughs> so what else do you guys make? Like chemical weapons, WMDs, shit like that? No, 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 no. Well, at least not me. Yeah? It's in my contract. None of my research can be used for military purposes. There's more over here. Wait, stop. Oh, come on, the water's yeah. gonna be great. Hold, hold on, hold on. What's wrong? Well, I, I didn't mean stop that. <laughs> come on, what is it? It's a long story. Well, it's okay. We can just walk. I like walking. <laughs> so, why don't you tell me about your plants? Really? Okay. Well, this particular genus is adventitious. You want me to ask? It means not native to this area. You can thank Ogden for that. Who? Oh, shit, I asked. Peter Skeen Ogden, first explorer to come through this part of Oregon. He and some of the other early explorers brought all their medicinal herbs and plants with them. Some got away, and now they're growing here. Mostly along the shores of small lakes and ponds. First white explorer? Oh, look at you, being all politically correct. Don't buy into all the biker stereotypes you see on TV. We are actually quite charming. I bet. The MC's got a couple of brothers, one fully patched. I don't think I've seen one person of color since I arrived in your strange little backwater paradise. Yeah, Jack actually had some guys bust in from Sacramento just to piss off our skinhead rivals. He did not. <laughs> No, he did not. I'm kidding. Jersey Jim's an old buddy of mine. Patched him and myself. We served in the same unit. Come by the clubhouse Sunday. I'll show you around. You'd like the guy. He's funny as shit. He makes a mean margarita. Well, I have to be in the lab early on Monday, so... I'll have us back in your bed by 10. I promise. How can I refuse an offer like that? <sighs> okay, you try picking some now. Lavender. You, you want me to pick lavender? Yep. And bring me three plants, and don't crush them. Oh, I'm gonna crush them. <laughs> Come on. Uh, got one. Good for you. This one? Yep, keep going. Last one. Great, bring him here. <sighs> oh. <Good for> you. <laughs> wow, gallantry is alive and farewell after all. No. If he's <laughs> not, then I didn't kill him. <laughs> hey! Oh, 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 oh. Aww, poor guys. Hey, is that the one we're gonna smoke later? No, but this is the one we're gonna drink. I make this killer herbal tea with it. I'll bet. <laughs> <laughs> hey, all right, if you come over, then I will make it for you, as long as you give me a ride home. All right, great. Well, you're gonna be a believer. And we'll grab a beer from myself on the way over. <laughs>
Uh, sorry, uh, I'm a little out of it. What, you said something? It's, uh, it's something Sarah showed me a few summers ago before... Yeah. Anyway, uh, there's a plant that grows out here called lavender. It grows in the shade, along rivers, lake shores. I'm gonna see if I can find some. Shit, brother. The way my arm's feeling, I'll try anything, but... Fuck the lavender, bring something I can smoke. Whatever, I'm gonna find some of this shit, I'm gonna make a burn sap out of it, and you're gonna shut the hell up about it. Yeah, okay. I'm sorry, brother, just going stir-crazy up here, you know? Uh, don't worry, booze man. We're riding north, I swear to God, not too much longer. You hear me? Yeah, out. Hey, Boozer. Uh, God damn it! Uh, it's a funny thing. I, I was remembering how uh, a few summers back, Sarah took me out to Bear Creek. We were picking lavender, and uh, she taught. <laughs> she 
taught me how to make this sap for burns and uh... Look, I got out today, okay? I actually had a look around the mound. I cleared some traps. The arm's almost as good as new. All right, okay. I'm just gonna leave it right here. Hey, hey. just give me a couple days, okay? Just we'll ride up north like you said and get out of this shithole. Sure. Yeah. Here, what's up? We got hit, and hard. Rippers. A couple of dozen, maybe more. Goddamn rippers. That little gal you were so worried that about? Be it. Yeah, Lisa. Wait, hold on. What happened? Where's Lisa? Gone. They took her and three others. Alki followed him as far as he could. But they're holed up at Belknap Crater. He came back to round up more men, but... Goddamn it! Okay, look, I've seen what those sons of bitches do to hostages. I'm not waiting. Some time on my hands, made you some shit. Who's man? Thank you, brother. Uh, I'll be by. These are the assholes who've been ambushing the roads around here. They won't be joining your goddamn cult. Yeah. Those 
rock. Someone's <laughs> Jesus, what the hell is wrong with you freaks? Free rule of the world, huh? Not if they're all dead. No, she's not in here. Where are you, Lisa? She's gotta be out here somewhere. The future is now. The day is the day. I have been sent back down the path. I have fallen. I am not brought low. No one is joining you! Look, now you're found, yeah? This way. She's got to be this way. Something's out here. They dragged her up here. Lisa's gotta be up there.
I'm coming, kid. Lisa. All right, Lisa. Oh, Jesus, what have they done to you? Lisa. Lisa? Hey, sweetheart. No! Hey, hey, no! hey, shut up, shut up! Shut up! Lisa, it's me, it's Deacon, remember? Deacon? Okay, all right. That's all right, it's all right, come on. You okay? Do you know where the visitor center is? All right, that's where my bike is. I need you to run air as fast as you can. Don't stop. Don't stop. All right, don't stop, no matter what. You ready? Huh? Go. Get down, get down! Kill him! Free! Free! 
Where's my bike? Run! We're safe now. Are you okay? No. Listen to me. To the south of here, there's a camp at Lost Lake. It's nothing like the Hot Springs. Iron Mike, he's not like Mrs. Tucker. I hated Mrs. Tucker. <laughs> no, you wouldn't be alone there. This is a nice camp, and it's a safe place. Okay. Hold on. Ricky! Ricky, come back. Ricky, are you still on this channel? Lost Lake Camp, come in. Deacon? Ugh, long time no here. What do you want? Just meet me, okay? On the Cascade Highway where it intersects with the old Belknap Road. I'm heading there now. You know what Iron Mike said? The night you and Booze are rode out of here? Uh, oh yeah, that. Uh, listen. That's why I radioed you and not Schizo. Iron Mike doesn't even have to know about this. I got a kid here. What? Well, I mean, not a kid, uh, a survivor. She's been out here a long time. You've got a survivor, and you're bringing her to Lost Lake. No, you're bringing her to Lost Lake. I'm bringing her to you. Ricky, you there? Yeah, okay, I'm on my way. Lost Lake out. Ricky? Uh, yeah, okay, you're welcome. You're gonna like it there, kid. Like I said, Iron Mike, he's, um, uh, he likes to yell a lot. Look, don't let him bother you. You got that? Uh, anyway, there's this guy named Schizo. If he bothers you at all. Well, just tell Ricky. Or, uh, tell Addie. She's the camp's doctor. You tell her. And Addie's, she's good. She's got medicine, you know, to clean up those, uh, to clean up those cuts. I mean, you don't want to get infected. They're gonna help you out, kid. You can count on them, even if you, uh, you know, even if you screw up. Hey, Ricky. Hey, Deke. I'm surprised. What, did Tucker give up the slave trade? Uh, Lisa, this is uh, Ricky. She's going to uh, take you to a safe place. Nothing has changed, Deke. Iron Mike is not going to pay you for this. Pay me for, oh, come on. That's not, excuse me. That's not what this is about. It's not about collecting a bounty or anything. Can you mm -hmm. just, just take her? Huh? What's wrong with her, Deke? What's wrong with her? She was, had a run in with some rippers. I had to. Hey, Lisa. Hi, I'm Ricky. Listen, do you like to go fishing? I love fishing. It's, it's my favorite thing in the whole wide world. Would you want to go fishing with me? Yeah? Come on, I'm going to tell you about Lost Lake. It has the clearest water you have ever seen. And the fish, oh my god. The fish in the morning, they jump this high. I'll show you. When we go, we're gonna have such a good time. Make sure you hold on tight, okay? Ready? I really appreciate it. Hot Springs to Deacon St. John. Tucker, I'm here. I expected you back by now. Did you find the girl, Lisa?
They're coming. Oh, they're gonna... They won't know. Wait, they're on me. Sugar? Desert, what's going on? No! How'd you get in here? Whoa, 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 whoa. You stay right there! Desert, it's me. You stay there. It's Zeke. Let's just Don't calm you come down. come any closer. Let's just I talk. will kill you. It's all right. Oh, oh, get with you. Ah! Get the gun, buddy. No, I will not! Ah! Boozer, what the fuck? I, I heard, I heard him. I heard voices. Oh shit! Oh, shit. You, you, you heard him, right? No, I didn't hear shit, Boozer. You know what? I, I do not. Yes, you do, Boozer. Just take a look. I don't need to take a look. Come on, we gotta get you some help. Look, I don't need some. Come on. Damn, I don't need help. <sighs> Sorry about that. About trying to blow your head off. I, I mean, no, I thought I saw something, you know? Easy. Hey, watch the steps. Look, I got this. I mean, uh, yeah, yeah, I know, I know. I could hear him, Deke. I, I could hear him, Deke. Footsteps just pounded in my head. Boots. Just a few more steps. I don't need any help. I can goddamn walk. I can walk. Okay. Okay. I, I just... I don't, I don't know what happened. I, I saw him. So many of them just all Yeah, now come on, come on. Get on, we gotta go. Wait, 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 what? Where are we going? I, I don't... It's just a short ride, Boozer. It'll help clear your head, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, okay. That'd be good. Yeah, okay. Where are we going? Deke, you remember when we first rode out of Farewell? What that was like? Yeah, I remember. The highways were, they were all choked up with cars. There were so many people, all on the move, thinking that if they could only go fast enough, that they'd outrun what was coming. Yeah. No one could move fast enough, Boozer. No one saw it coming the way I did. So by the time they said, fuck it, you know, and started walking, and then running, it was too late. Too late. And I remember watching the freaks, watching them all come, thousands of them. And all those, all those dumb shits just got swallowed up. Yeah, I remember. When you see a thing like that, no, it's only a matter of time. Before it's our turn. Nothing's gonna stop it, Boozer. Not a goddamn thing, but... But do you know why we keep going? No.
With a soldier's eyes With a soldier's eyes <laughs> What are you doing? Up before heading in. Oh, you know. Yeah, I figured I'd stop in the lodge, have a few beers, and then just stroll into the infirmary. No, 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 no. I'm just, just sick of it. <sighs> no. No, I don't care. I'm just fucking with you. Hey, Deke. Mm -hmm. Mike said he'd kill you if he ever saw you again. Uh, and if he said that it. That old man doesn't remember his name half the time. No, no, no. Hey, he'll hey. remember. You gotta stay awake. We're off the open road, but if a freak or one is back. Yeah, yeah, I know. Mm. All right. Hey, Deke. Yeah. Don't you kill anyone in the camp, okay? I'm not gonna kill anyone. You good? Never better. Hey, I thought you were heading that piece of shit, Lost Lake. I am. I'm just, I'm, I'm checking out the area. I'm just making sure it's clear. Deke, that you? Yeah. I'm heading out. I'm gonna be back soon. Joni? Joni? How's it going? Hey! Something's out here. What'd you find? I thought I saw someone. Is there someone out there?
You saw something? Yeah, I thought I saw someone. That was a rock. I'm gonna try to get some sleep. Something through a rock. That girl, Lisa, whatever. You want. Something's here. Drives all the damn time. First few days, she kept me up all night. <laughs> What's her deal? Hey, she just came in like a shit. What do you want? About shit. Even money? Son Raymond? of a bitch. And the men we buried, they were butchered, Mike. Butchered. Christ, it took us three hours to rake up all the body parts. I didn't want to leave them for the bricks. Raymond? It's Carlos, and you know it. We gotta hit him back, or the Rippers are gonna... Rip Schizo, leave it be. Just leave it be. And what about the next one, Mike? Hey. And the next. Hell, Carlos is already pushing into rogue camp. Camp Pioneer... There's no proof of that. They're moving up north. I heard one of those radio free organ broadcasts. Claims they got hit by rippers. So now you're listening to that nut job. <laughs> well, Is that a rock? But I think he'd know a ripper if one was coming at him with a butcher. Something's going on. Trying to get with them? Where's this going? <sighs> and what about the next man? I'm just next. curious. Hell, Carlos is already pushing you to go camp. Camp Pioneer. Not so hard. Just, just wait. She came out of her cabin. Two seconds later. Credit for keeping shit running around here. <laughs> ah, damn it. <laughs> Hi, Ricky. Hi, Addy. Uh, I don't want any trouble, so if you ladies just step aside, I'll show no, you no, my no, way out. No, no, what the hell are you doing, are you doing? in doing? my -uh. infirmary? Oh, are you gonna shoot me now? <gasps> oh, wait, 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 there's a code, right? You can't shoot a woman unless you have to. Well, now you have to. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, look, why don't you just let me explain? Check what's in the cooler. <sighs> What are you, selling narcotics for Tucker now? You know, when you brought me that girl, I thought you had changed. But clearly you haven't. No, it's not narcotics. What? It's antibiotics. Boozer's sick. He's got blood poisoning. I had no place else to go. Blood poisoning? What happened? Does it matter? I fucked up. Bring him in. Go and get him. Bring him here. No, we can't do that. Yes, we can. Look, I don't care who he is, and I don't care what Iron Mike thinks. When a man is sick, a man is sick. We have to look out for each other. 
Baby is all we got. Come on, I'll give you a ride. Which way we headed? You remember there was a small camp when we first rode into the valley? Yeah, I remember. You call this a bike? It may not be a fancy drifter bike, but it gets the job done. Get on. I was in my classroom. So, how's she doing? The girl that I brought in, Lisa. Are you, are you gonna take me to see her? No. Oh, God damn it, Ricky. What, what the hell? Why not? I can't. She's not here. Wait, wait. Hold on for a second. Where is she? A few days ago, Schizo assigned her to a scavenge hunt. She and three others headed over to the rope camp to look for supplies. They came back without her. You're telling me they left her? They left her, out in the shit! They didn't leave anyone. They said she ran off. Jesus! It could have been anything. Wolves, freaks, rippers. Choose your poison. And what, what, what was Schizo thinking, sending her out on a supply run? Everyone's gotta work deep. That's the deal, and you know it. I don't believe this shit. Look, she'd been surviving in Marion Forks for years when I found her. Yeah, then maybe you should have left her there. Who's there? Hey. Get back, don't make me blow your goddamn Loser. head off. It's me. No, get back! Oh. Hey. Hey, it's, uh, it's Ricky. <laughs> you remember me? I rode with you guys a year ago. Ricky. What? Tumalo? Yeah. That's good. Tumalo to Toss Lake? Yeah. Yeah. Hold on, hold on. That's right. How are you doing there, Boozer? Are you doing all right? Uh, just PG. It still didn't give you the right to steal our shit. Are you kidding me? Look at his arm. What was I supposed to do? Huh? I don't know. Maybe ask. Jesus. Look at you guys, the biker boys. The most badass drifters in this shit, right? Now you come back crawling to Iron Mike. Oh, wait. If he'll let you. <laughs> come on, just help me get him back to Addy. Let's go. Come on, pal. I don't need your help. <clears throat> Ricky. Yeah, Boozer Ricky. Hey, where, where are we going? Addie said she's agreed to, to take a look at your arm and, and see what she can do. What? No. No, you're not taking me to some goddamn camp. I can ride, damn it. We're not sa Damn it. Boozer, it's just for a few days. Get some shit for your arm and then... No. You know what it's like there, Deke. No, you're not thinking straight. This isn't the Hot Springs. This is Lost Lake. Iron Mike. Remember him? Iron Mike? Who's gonna get us killed? You said. That was a long time ago. They built the place up. They, they got more people. We're all gonna fucking die. We'll be long gone before anything like that happens. Camp's got the only dock in a hundred miles. Now, Addie, just look, she'll take care of it. Just, just a couple of days. Yeah, then we ride the hell out of here. Right north, like you said. Get the hell away from all this. Yeah. Yeah, we ride north. Leave all this shit behind. Okay, so I'm gonna go back and check on him and 
Make sure he's okay. Coward. Yeah, you got that right. Well, how long? And until he can ride, I mean. You mean how long do you have to be here? Look, we have antibiotics, but it's not enough. Iron Mike lets you stay. Your friend will have a chance. So what happened? How'd he burn his arm like that? We ran into some rippers south of Belknap. Guess they didn't like his tattoos. Jesus. I've heard about them doing shit like that to themselves, but not to people they're trying to recruit. <sighs> Boozer wasn't any goddamn recruit. Oh, uh, guess Tucker should have made a deal with him like Iron Mike. Come on, Ricky, he just, he doesn't get it. Carlos isn't gonna honor any deal with Lost Lake, not for long anyway, and Mike, he just doesn't see it. He sees more than you think. We You've always had your good side, Dee. You've just Road. been doing your best to kill it. Ran into a bunch of crazy <sighs> Thanks for the vote of confidence. Almost naked, all scarred up, like they took a knife to themselves. Joe said they were rippers. A cult over an iron butte called Rest in Peace. They worship freaks. You believe that? They worship them. Like they've been raptured to heaven. You cannot believe a word he is going to say. Eddie is soft. Mike, we do not have enough for those that pull their own weight, let alone a goddamn cripple. He's not oh, a cripple. On. He can work. He... I say we throw them out on their asses. Mike, that is not who we are. Jesus. Listen to you. And you. You tired of being Tucker's little bitch, finally? Raymond, huh? stop it! Don't call me that! I'm pretty tired, all right. All right, See? enough! See? You know who the fuck this guy is, and you know what he- You hold on! And you! You put that shit away. Mike. Deacon was I one that know. brought me the good- I know. And I know what kind of man he is. What he's done. He done any worse than you? Ricky? How about me? We've all been out in this shit, Schizo. We've all done things we're not proud of. We need another rider. Oh, now, wait a minute. I just need a few days and some antibiotics. I'll do whatever it takes. Sure, Mike. Whatever you say, I'm on board. Walk with me. I don't trust don't you. Don't start with me. So you're the one who brought them in. I didn't bring them in, Schizo. Boozer needed help. But he broke into the infirmary. The tackle shop isn't exactly... Ricky told cool. me you stopped you running for Tucker. That weeks ago. Sent that little girl here oh, instead. So You're hooked up with I'm sorry I lied to you so go before about doing box. runs for Tucker. Isn't that your job? How long you been drifting? No. You and Bill. I don't know. Like I said, time gets lost. Your folks don't put down some roots. Figure this shit out. Grow some food. Come next spring, won't be none of us left. If you give Boozer what he needs, let us hole up here till he can ride. Like I said, I will do whatever you need. I just, I, I want you to know that as soon as he's patched up, we're going to put together some gear. We're going to ride north. North, huh? There's a camp up there near Smith Rock. Boozer's never been there. Anyway, got a lot of ghosts down here. It's time we move on. Fresh start, eh? Yeah, I can respect that. All right, now go on. Leave me be, I got some thinking to do. Sure, Mike, yeah, whatever you say. Just have Ricky radio me if you need something. <laughs>